Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, ah, there we go. So, I was going to do this live, but the New York Warriors got their auction going on, and I thought that would be kind of inappropriate to kind of jump on that. I know they're going to have more people watching than me anyway, but I didn't want to jump in and do that. So, I'm uh, I'm watching the auction on my phone while I'm doing this. But uh, let's jump right into it. This is uh, a box. Comics and Cold Ones are jumping on the box train, and you guys know I've, I've been on their show before. Um, I'm pretty tight with, with, with Pope and, and JP, so I'm going to try to be uh, fair and honest about this, but, you know, whether it's worth the value, but, uh, <laughs> you know, keep in mind that, that I know these guys. So, anyway, uh, start off, it's packaged pretty darn good, uh, a lot of, lot of this stuff. I've open the box. I have not taken the comics out, but I, I pre-cut stuff so that you wouldn't have to watch me fiddling with the knife. So then it came with two packs of comics um, inside bubble wrap. So let's get that off. And then everything appears to be bagged and boarded, which is nice. You know, I always love the bags and boards, individuals. Um, I double, I put a book on each side of my, my bags, um, but most people don't do that, so I don't expect that for most people. And then we got lots of this uh, blue tape so that we don't rip any pages. Appreciate that. So I want to let you guys see what I'm doing here. Just uh, peeling off the blue tape there. My son watches on. <laughs> he's working on his new Pokemon regions. Um, or he's planning for Dungeons and Dragons because he's got a Dungeons and Dragons club. He's starting at school. He just got the administrative permission and it starts uh, in a week, right? Yeah. So he's all excited about that. Um, yeah, man, fitting this stuff in. I, I had a robotics team after school today. Then I came home. My wife made me dinner. I took off with my uh, older son to our guitar lessons. Came back. I got to go to the gym tonight at 8. My wife's out with the younger son at Taekwondo. And I'm not trying to get no sympathy card. You're all busy, but, you know, that's why we're trying to fit these videos in <laughs> when we can. Um, that's why I was going to go live. But, uh, again, I didn't want to interrupt the uh, New York Warriors. They, they've got this time slot. They've had it for a while. So I figured, let them have it. It's pretty darn cool. So let's see. The box cost $20, no shipping. Um, or You know, shipping was free on the, the first round. I think if they do it again, there will be uh, shipping. Let's see what we got. Um... Oh, it's blank on both sides. So first up, this is variant cover of something. What is that? Dark Child. I don't know anything about this. Uh, Dark Child and my glasses is no good, so I can't see the company. Um, Dark Child Entertainment. So it looks like the comic and the company are one and the same, perhaps. This is in... Beautiful condition, you know, probably a, a very fine. There's a little piece. Ooh, last issue special. Nice. Last issues are usually worth more because they're hard to get. It's a wraparound cover, which is pretty freaking gorgeous. So right off the bat, I'm pretty happy. There's a comic I don't know anything about, uh, and I like to read stuff I don't know anything about. There's as much, take that tape off, as much as I love my regular stuff, um, I like to find new stuff, too, that... I'm unfamiliar with so that'll be exciting to read so so far I am pretty satisfied next up a little Jean Grey uh, Dennis Hopeless is this the limited series or is this a longer series I'm not sure about this uh, first printing uh, regular cover so that is pretty cool I'm a big X-Men fan so I like that um, Whoa! <laughs> Panther! <laughs> uh, animal print. So we got, I don't know if that's Jerry Conway here. And this is clearly um, something with which I'm not familiar. It looks like something out of the 90s or even the, yeah, probably the, the 90s. I'll go check on that later. This is one of two from Harris Comics. Um, no idea about this, but uh, not complaining. Let's see. Betty and Veronica. This is Adam Hughes. I don't know who did this variant. Anybody know the artist down here? Um, M A F R A R. M F R. I'm not familiar with this one. Pretty cool. Um, so, this is a really horrible comic. Um, I've read it. He did a really bad job. He needs to stick to artwork. Um, it's a pretty cool cover. Uh, 
and it's nice to collect Adam Hughes stuff. I wasn't a fan of the comic. I have read that one before. So I'd say that is um, the first uh, first miss for me. So one out of four, not bad. You know, if you go by cover price, which we don't because comics lose their, their value right after you, you buy them. But if you go by cover price, I'm almost at $20 with just those four. Um, oh, sweet. Oh, I don't have this one. Nice. So, um, ooh, oh, I'm super psyched here. So, when I was a young kid, I used to watch Banana Splits on TV, and I'm talking like 1976 or something, right? Um, it contained, uh, it was this really wacky, weird show, but I think part of it uh, was a variety show or something. It's just, I can't even tell you what it was about, but part of it was... Um, Part of it contained the guy who played uh, the skipper in Gilligan on, on Gilligan's Island. Um, I, remember, I just have this image of seeing them in the show once. So anyway, this is Suicide Squad and Banana Splits. I don't know if Banana Splits are Hanna-Barbera or the other thing. DC has this crossover stuff. I've been reading all the ones that Mark Russell does. Lex Luthor um, one with, I can't remember who, Porky Pig. I read um, Tom King's Batman and Elmer Fudd is amazing. And I just finished the other night the uh, Green Lantern, Huckleberry Hound, which was also really good. So I'm excited to see this because it's got Snagglepuss Chronicles in it. And I don't know if that's Mark Russell. If it is, that's really awesome. This is also a variant cover, by the way. Um, I had no idea, so I'm going to open this up and look at it. So JP and Pope G, I'm super excited by this. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Mark Russell. Oh, that's really awesome. Um, Dave Sharp on lettering. Uh, there's some, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm starting to read this while I'm doing a, a video. Uh, there is a, a Snagglepuss short. Now, if you didn't read Snagglepuss Chronicles, go out and buy that trade right now. Hands down, I, I that was better than Mr. Miracle for me last year. That was probably the best... Uh, mini series or short series or whatever you want to call it of the year um next up is this barrier free comic book day so you know everyone's like oh it's free whatever um but now that vaughn has his um deal with uh uh with whatever company to produce videos and, and tv um that's pretty darn good it looks like titan comics from dallas texas has put their sticker on here uh so I have this book. It's a cool read. Uh, Value-wise, there's not much when there's a sticker on there, but that's still pretty darn cool to get. Uh, Marcos Martin and Munza Vicente or Vicente on letters and art. What else we got here? Detective Comics by Greg Rucka, one of my favorite writers. Uh, so this is Detective Comics number... 752. They're almost hitting 1,000. So you know this is an older issue. Looks like Poison Ivy and a gas mask on the front. A bunch of other gas masks there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and JP's killing it with the uh, alternative stuff that I don't know. I mean, I, I, I tend to think I read a good amount of indie stuff, but he's always got stuff in. This is one of the sickest drawn covers I've ever seen. Look at the detail there. Let's see if I can get without the glare. That is just some incredible detail. This is Dark Souls, The Age of Fire by O'Sullivan and Kakarev uh, from Titan, uh, Titan Comics, issue number one, first printing. I honestly don't know... Um, anything about this, which again, makes me really psyched to see this. Now this next lot, there is a trade paperback in here, which is pretty darn cool. There is a bag here, um, things from another world. I'm wondering if he used a bag um, for a comic that I sent him at one point. Things from another world is located in Portland, Oregon. And the time I went to go there, they actually were closed for inventory. But uh, I have been there at other times seeing uh, – I've, I've gotten bags from them uh, at half price. So I'm wondering how JP ended up with one way down in Texas, unless they're a chain. I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was funny just seeing a bag that I was familiar with, the little sticker on the bag. 
All right, just flip this out here. Uh, that's close enough. Garbage, and here we go. Nope, here we don't go. I'm trying to get this, the tape off without seeing the books before you guys get a chance to see them. Uh, looks like good stuff's going on in the New York Warriors auction. Sorry, they did a really nice job on this, so had to give credit where credit's due. So I haven't seen this. First up, <laughs> a DuckTales comic. That's awesome. Number eight, cover B. I don't know any of the uh, creators on this, but that would be my first DuckTales book. So pretty, pretty excited there. Uh, ah, come off tape now. We'll get that later. Next up, Oh, <laughs> all killer, no filler. Dead Sonia, she's zombie with a sword. Blatant parody, number one. Blood, 48 blood covers pages. That's a thick book. Uh, let's see. I have no idea what company this is by. There's a little bit of <coughs> on the cover, that color rub, I guess they call it. Which I always thought sounded kind of kinky, but... Who knows? So, God Mode Online. Explaining irony in a way. I think that's an advertisement on the back. Uh, trying to see if I can figure out what company makes this. Uh, maybe the company is called Blatant Parody. Oh my gosh. Uh, Owen Genie does the artwork on part two. There's three parts in here. Um, oh, it is called Blatant Comics. That's hysterical. Owen Genie does the artwork on... Um, on uh, Rat Queens um, right now, and he also does the cover on this, so that's pretty darn cool. Uh, that's right in line with his Rat Works, or his Rat Queen stuff. His Rat Queens work is what I'm trying to say. What do we? Ooh, Shadowhawk three from Image. That is a sick looking cover too. First of a series of four. Uh, Valentino. All right, so that is uh, one of the founders of Image. That's a pretty. Is that a cover swipe? I don't know. Would you consider that? original or cover so it seems like I've seen that pose before but either way I've got like Shadowhawk number one because I've got a lot of image number one books but I've never read it <laughs> it's just sitting there so I'll, I'll keep that Ooh, here is a uh, 25 cent dynamite introductory priced issue of Vampirella uh, that's pretty darn cool I'm not a Vampirella fan I love that artwork though and it's really cool. Uh, this will probably get sent to somebody who is. Uh, this is called Intertwined. It is by Sapolsky, Pham Chung, and Lopez. It's from Dynamite Books, Intertwined, Book One, Coming to America. And it is signed on the inside by the author, whose name is Sapolsky. Okay, we've got Kanan, The Last Padawan, uh, which is, I think, the most underrated of the Star Wars series. Uh, really, really good. A really good read, um, which, of course, means I have this whole series, so I don't need this book. But, uh, you know, you're blind, buying a blind box, and they're making blind boxes. They don't know these things. This one looks like a variant, um, and this looks really, really cool. I, Sorrentino? I don't know Sorrentino. This is Guardians of the Galaxy, one of the earlier volumes, because the signature is 2014. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be Gamora or, or who that's supposed to be. Nathaniel? Yeah. Who's this supposed to be on the cover? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're supposed to know these Possibly things, Possibly a very old version of Ronan the Accuser. Ronan the Accuser. Hmm. A very old version of Ronan the Accuser. Perhaps uh, previously in the Black Vortex. It uh, doesn't say what type of variant it is. Um. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, let's see if they say who it is. Nathaniel, do you know who it is now? Oh, that's an old version of Gamora. That is an old version of Gamora. Okay, I was right first time. What do the kids know? He thought it was Ronan the Accuser. It is an old version of Ronan the 
Riku's where he's wears a I'm, green and yellow cloak, and I'm he messing. literally says everything that you did wrong in your life. I'm messing with you, bud. So, um, let's go through this again. Uh, 20 bucks. One. Oh, this is the first appearance of Subin Ren. I didn't know that. Maybe I will hold on to it. Two. Big, thick book signed. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's just some sick artwork. Take a look at that, bud. Eight. Nine. Ten. Are we counting that one? Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. So 14 comics for 20 bucks. That's a good deal right there. Oh, sorry. 13 comics and one um, signed trade paperback. A bunch of variants uh, all over the place. And I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, we're going from Star Wars, uh, super hero, Star Wars, Marvel superheroes, DC superheroes, uh, horror, Vampirella, um, parody, that, that Dead Sonia. I can't believe somebody hasn't come up with Dead Sonia before. Um, free comic book day. I mean, a whole bunch of different stuff here. Uh, let's see if we can... A whole bunch of different stuff here. So, uh, was it worth it? All right? And and here's here's what I'd say. It was definitely worth it. I, I think you're definely getting value. Um, you know, I, I saw uh, Houdat and Seaworder to open some boxes today, and some boxes they got, I think, contain more value than others. There I am. Um, this definitely is worth it. I don't know that I would do it again, only because... My my personal style is I like to know what I'm getting. If you know, twenty bucks wasn't a lot, but if I'm spending money, I want to know what I'm spending money on. Uh, some of the best stuff in here I already had, um, so you know, is you, you're ordering a blind box, you're taking your chances. Some of the stuff I'm definitely going to read. Some of the stuff is going to go into. Um, boxes I auction off myself or lots that I auction off. Some of this stuff I might give to my kid and some of this stuff um, will just go in like that cane and will probably just go in as a collector's item um, because it's the first appearance and I love Star Wars. So yeah, um, comics and cold ones, uh, you know, that's JP all about comics and, and Pope Grimey, the two guys who run it, they do these boxes. They're probably going to do them once a month or once every other month. I don't know. Um, you're definitely getting your money's worth, right? That's that's the number one thing is is you want to talk about value. Like, if I try to sell these in auctions or eBay, I'd, I'd be able to recoup the money, which is not what I want to do. I wanted to get great comics for for the price. Um, and I got some great ones. I got some good ones. I got some ones that eh, but I, I definitely think it's worth it. So good job, guys. Uh, cheers to you both, and good luck going forward. Uh, if you are not aware, uh. All About Comics um, is doing their auction, the Comics and Cold Ones auction, tomorrow night, Wednesday. That will take place at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. over here on the West Coast, and 9 p.m. if you are East Coast, and then if you're Mountain, I guess that's the 7 <laughs> time slot. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, pretty excited. I love doing unboxings. I hope you add some... Uh, had a chance if you know anything about these comics that I missed please put it in the comments um, if uh, you think I got great value if you think I got so so value if you think I got ripped off um, let me know clearly I don't think I got ripped off um, but if maybe something here is worth a lot more than I, I thought it was or knew it was so let me know uh, and I think that's about it I'll talk to you guys later take care